Okay, now that I showed you what to do with the steak sandwich, guess what? We're going to set up the pork roast exactly the same way. You take about a teaspoon of the soy, tablespoon of the vinegar, and again, this could be white wine vinegar, it can be rice vinegar, it could be white vinegar, and then I'm going to add just a little hit of the Chinese five spice. And just stir it up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Mr. Fork here and just going to kind of perforate our little pork roast a bit because I want the marinade to seep in. I mean that's what's going to really give this thing a fabulous flavor. Okay and I happen to have a Dutch oven but I mean really any pan will do because we're not going to cook it yet. This is just for the marinating process and you just put it in the pot And then you pour your marinade over top, like so. I usually like to rub it on a little bit. It's kind of like when we do a dry rub. In this case, it's a, a wet rub. Your pork roast appreciates the attention. And then we're just going to let that sit in the pot for at least a couple hours or even overnight. The longer you let it sit, the better it gets. So we'll be back and I'll show you how to set this thing up for a fabulous pork roast, Asian style. Back to the scene of the crime as it were. We're gonna work on this lovely pork roast over here. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put some Asian vegetables in. I do have some nice uh, snow peas, or rather snap peas, but actually you wanna wait until about the last 10 minutes of cooking time because you don't wanna turn these suckers into mush. But we also have some fresh mushrooms, I'm going to cut up a nice Chinese eggplant, and I have some zucchini, which I'm going to throw in there as well, and of course some onions. But before we do all that, what we want to do is braise this bad boy, because you always want to make sure you seal in the juices before you start working with roasting. So let's move over to the stove. Okay, so let's get that good and hot, and then we'll put our roast back in. Let's put the meat in. That's what you've been marinating for the last couple hours. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna give, we're gonna let it cook. Again, we're not trying to cook it, we're just trying to seal the deal, seal in the juices. So we're gonna let it cook for about, oh, I'd say about a minute aside. Okay, as you can see, I've now Braised the meat all the way around and I brought in our vegetables and all the other ingredients we're going to need to finish this bad boy off. So let's put it together and pop it in the oven. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting my mushrooms in. Okay, then I'm going to layer on the other veggies, which is the eggplant, the onions. And I have some zucchini here. Then I'm going to pour on a bottle of Mr. B, some vitamin B, about a bottle of beer in there. And then last but not least, I'm going to add a little bit of the Asian, uh, the Thai chili sauce. Again, you don't want to go crazy with it, but it's a little bit for flavor. Then we're just going to seal this bad boy up. And we're going to pop it in the oven for an hour. And then an hour... We're going to open it up and we're going to put these in, the, the snap peas, for the last 10 minutes. And last but not least, we're going to sit Mr. Timer. See you in an hour, guys. There you have it. Asian pork roast with mixed vegetables and gravy. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how to make Asian fusion fish tacos. Say that three times fast. Until then, munch on!